Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Good. It's great to have you uh, on Word TV for the first time. That is, it is the first time. We're excited to, uh, to understand both about um, what you guys are doing and, and kind of a new model that you guys have. So it's very interesting to us. Well, uh, I mean, the purpose of me even chatting to you is to find out more about what you're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so tell me about Broadsoft and what uh, it is you're all about. Broadsoft uh, was founded in 1998. Okay. Uh, we're based out of Gaithersburg, Maryland. Uh, we provide uh, hosted, uh, we provide uh, software for uh, hosted VOIP, hosted VoIP. Okay. Um, and we're here at the show because we've been working very closely with Microsoft and their hosted HMC, which is the hosted messaging uh, and collaboration solution. Mm -hmm. And we integrate the Broadworks VoIP solution with HMC to make a hosted unified communication solution. Right, and can you expand more on that hosted communication system? Well, hosted unified communication is effectively providing a lot of feature functionality that small businesses are looking for today, uh, things like uh, email, instant messaging, uh, the ability to take an instant message and elevate that to things like live meeting, uh, web conference, or to elevate that to a phone call. These are, these are capabilities that small businesses want. It's all of these different communication services packaged as one service, but unlike what a lot of, uh, a lot of businesses would have to expect to buy as a set of servers, they can instead buy it through their service provider as, as an integrated service offer. So without having to own or, or purchase and then configure and manage hardware and software on their prem, they buy this solution from the service provider. So we're here to support um, how the IT hosters here at the show can go to market with this solution. Okay, right. So that's the deep thing from this particular summit. Are you going to find end users or other hosters? What are you looking to accomplish at this particular summit? Well, we have talked to an incredible number of IT hosters at the show so far. Mm -hmm. There are also some what we would think of as traditional telcos here okay. who are also uh, expanding their um, hosted IT type of service offerings. Okay. So. Um, you have IT hosters that are very interested in expanding into the VoIP side of the business, um, mainly through partnering with VoIP providers, but some are also looking to provide the VoIP services themselves. Um, and then the VoIP providers who are here, they're also looking to expand into IT services or partner with IT hosters. So we've had a tremendous reception by both those audiences that are here at the show, um, and we expect that to the extent that we can support how they do this, how they integrate the two, uh, the various uh, other partners that are here that help us to deliver that solution. Um, again, we've had a tremendous reception from these partners to, uh, in terms of what the solution will deliver and the excitement. And again, it's a global thing. We have interest from carriers uh, across almost every continent where we're, we're currently working. So how much competition do you have in terms of specifically what you offer? Are there are a lot of other companies out there that offer well, the product. We do, we do find that there's a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. um, the main competition right now is from premise-based providers. So you have companies like Avaya and Cisco that have a solution that right now is typically packaged um, for the delivery to the enterprise themselves or to the SMB. Uh, the interesting thing about the way Microsoft is positioning this as a hosted service is that it's really not cost effective for small businesses to deploy this themselves. So we don't really see much direct competition for that small business. So how are you guys, in terms of price point, directed more towards the small business? Um, again, we don't, we don't set prices for small business. The small business uh, would receive a price from the service provider, but that's a very good question because that is, that is I think, there is an uh, inflection point now where um, hosted VoIP has in many ways been deployed as a, as a me too service. So I have a service that I receive from my, from my service provider that provides a certain set of features. Now I get that same service over an IP line, and it's not really clear in many, for many end users what the additional benefits of IP or VOIP are. And you mainly don't expect to pay more for that service. And what we have here is a set of services that are both in such a broad set of service, it simplifies the data. And the integration of the services across all of these different applications means that something that's really it's a lot better than what people have gotten, and the expectation is that they will have to pay more for this. So, so there is a lot of debate and discussion around both 
what the carrier can charge for this, what the IT hoster can charge for this, and then how much they can charge for this. So there, that's a big topic of discussion right now. Right, and how you, what, what are your opinions as to how this discussion might end? What is I think, the result? I think you know, there's going to be there are some IT hosters and, and VoIP providers that right now are um, who are just getting out in the marketplace and testing it out, okay. and they're just going to go do it. Uh, there's some very innovative and aggressive companies who are getting into the marketplace. Uh, we just announced that uh, Light Edge Communications, who's a Broadworks uh, service provider, uh, we just announced last week that they have gone to market with this service, and we're um, you know, we're really excited about their offering, and we're expecting to see some interesting information that's going to come come about as a, as a result of the deployment and their go-to-market efforts. Very good. So that's kind of a big announcement. It is a big announcement. Um, it's been a lot of work. Uh, we only announced the solution with Microsoft at our Connections event in uh, in Phoenix last year in October. So then to go to a customer deployment and an announcement uh, roughly in a couple of months, three or four months, is pretty good. Um, we have a lot of other carriers that are interested in this. Uh, the IT hosting community here is very interested. Um, we had a big demo in front of the group today. Uh, I think, again, it's an exciting demo. Everyone loves to see the functionality and see how we're really selling user-based services that, that, that can improve productivity. Cool. Sounds, well, it sounds like uh, you guys are kind of the prettiest girl at the party. Everybody wants to obviously, talk to you. Obviously not me. So. <laughs> you are, trust me. I look good in a dress, but I won't. Uh, really? Well, we'll follow <laughs> up with that. We might have to come see you in San Diego. Oh, yeah, again, I'm the San Diego office, uh, so if anyone does have to come down and, and absorb some of that awful sunshine we have down there, oh, they're yeah. certainly welcome to come visit. So. Oh, thanks. Well, we might follow you up on that. <laughs> thanks a lot, Dave. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure chatting it's with you. It's great talking to you. You too. Thanks Best so much. of luck. Cheers.